Oh, girl, we need to talk about these human hair crochet braids and this braidless install. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. It's as fly as it appears to be. Let's go. What's going on, cousins? What's going on today? Your girl is bringing you something very nice. Very, very nice. I am bringing you human hair crochet extensions y'all this is my first time wearing human hair crochet i have several reasons for that but i'm going to give it a try today using these extensions from coily q 100 percent virgin human hair crochet extensions and yes it is a black owned company they sent me their Coily Q Silk Press Yaki Textured Human Hair Crochet Extensions. And I'm going to be trying them today. As you see here, I have five bundles. And look at the shine, y'all. Baby, these things look like they just got baptized. I ain't lying. But anyways, they suggest for a full head that you use at least four. My suggestion would be five. If you really want to be ignorant on top of ignorant, you might want to shoot for six. But this definitely worked for me as you see they have what they call their pre-looped bundles and their standard bundles their pre-looped bundles have these um little micro rings around them and those can be adjusted and of course i'm going to show you guys in the demo so don't worry and don't fret the standard bundles do not have the micro link but they have this like hard contraption <laughs> off up in the middle i'm doing this install y'all on an old jumbo flat twist set y'all but you can do a low ponytail you can do a series of ponytails you can do twists that you have pulled into a low ponytail you do not have to do cornrows with this particular install that i'm doing today okay i just need y'all to know that going forward I am getting my ends together tucked underneath my braids as you guys can see I got a little hang time so I got to go up the twist a little bit you feel me I gotta really go up I used to didn't have to do that that's, that's, that's where I'm at with it okay just see my growth and let's just congratulate your girl on the growth that's that's all I'm saying to you okay never mind the undercut because you know that doesn't count but whatever so this is going to be my foundation you have your own choice of how you want to do and if you want to use braids use braids but if you cannot braid this will make it even easier <laughs> y'all remember when jamaica said that Alrighty, you guys i am starting with the pre-looped micro ring pieces there are 50 pieces per bundle these are adjustable you can tighten them you can loosen them you can even remove them it just depends on what you are trying to do at that particular moment okay this is the way that I'm going to be installing on all of my flat twists. It's very easy, y'all. What I really like about them is you don't have to knot. Once you loop, you tighten that micro ring and that's it, y'all. It's in there. That's one of the reasons why I never use human hair crochet because it usually slips and slides and this is not slip and slide records. I'm not here for it. But this right here, this micro ring locks it in place and I love it. I think that's so dope and it's so easy to remove. You just slide that micro ring down and just unloop the loop. Go the opposite way. Then when you install Damn, that's it. Because remember, this is human hair, so you want to keep these, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You want to keep them like a good relationship, so do that. I'm going to just go ahead and crochet along all of my flat twists. If you did not do the flat twist, crochet along your hair. You just want to make sure you have a part somewhere in there, okay? I'm going to do all my twists. Bam, all my twists are done. I know I'm looking like a bald head scallywag. I'm not done, okay? I'm not finished. This is the way I like to install. I like to loosen it majorly, okay? And then go ahead and adjust the, the micro ring. Instead of just loosening, loosening, it, loosening it a little bit, I like the big loop. It just works better for me for some reason. I don't know. That's how it did. 17 minutes and 36 seconds for all of my jumbo twists. That'll just kind of give you an idea how long it'll take. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but along the hair. 
instead of the same thing that I did on the twist I'm going to do on the hair this is not the invisible knot yet it's none of that this is the same exact way that I installed over top of my jumbo twist okay so we're just filling in right because we don't want to look stressed out that defeats the whole purpose so I'm just going along the hair wherever I see fit wherever the spirit leads me to put a, a piece in that's where I put it in okay it's no rhyme or reason now for the invisible knot method we're going to use the standard pieces for that okay because it does not have a ring I'm going to go around the perimeter of the whole install and close to my parts that's what I'm using these pieces for okay now this is very important you guys when you do the invisible knot method okay always direct the hook towards the part okay always not sometimes not most of the time not many of the times but always okay because as sister brandy prophesied almost doesn't count and that is the case with invisible knot method you have to do it this way or it will not work okay i'm just trying to be very clear because it's not always very clear you have to do it that way okay or your invisible knot method will look a hot mess all right that's just the long and short of it now you are going to tease around the perimeter and your parts you're going to tease like your life depends on it okay i'm using my favorite teasing brush bam you want the whole perimeter to look like that right there that's what you want it to look like now with working with these i found that i actually like doing the teased look on the outside with the micro ring pieces because guess what when you pull the ring all the way down then squeeze it up it creates its own teasing effect look i didn't tease it it's already teased because i started with the ring low and i squeezed it up so much that it just created that teased effect i was like yes i, I did that on accident and bam it worked <laughs> you think it's a game it's clearly not that's it y'all I really, really like these. My first experience with human hair crochet braids. I love the fact that I can keep these. They're high quality. I can color them if I want to. You wash them, you let them air dry or blow dry it, however you want to do it. I didn't need to press them because it's a silk press yakky, so it, it was already like that. So I didn't need to apply any heat, but you can. Um, the big difference in between this and synthetic hair is going to be the price you guys you are going to pay more for 100% virgin human hair than you are for synthetic hair okay I'm just going to throw that out there you are you're going to pay more for these than you are for synthetic hair okay so do what you need to do for your jacket pocket okay but as for me I love this and I'm keeping these bad boys um because this is my hair this my hair i don't care i don't care i don't care this is mine we're doing a limp check right now you thought this was a crochet install it's a whole limp check chat i just love it i love how it turned out so big shout out to coily q thank you so much for sending me these bundles man i was feeling my self and i wore these for quite some time okay love it love it love it can't wait to try your other textures y'all let me know in the comments what you think about this my first time using human hair crochet braids what do you think about human versus synthetic let me know blow those comments up make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join the family and join the fun and until until chap until we meet again i wish you all peace love and light all right y'all be good bye-bye